fire. Let me hear your fire. 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 Somebody scream in this place. Somebody say fresh oil. Somebody say fresh oil. I've got fresh oil. I've got fresh oil. I've got new money. And none of my shot I've got a new place. Yeah. Somebody scream. Shut up, Baba Shata. Hallelujah. We're going out of here wealthy in the spirit and in our finances. I don't care how you came in here. You going out of here better than you came in here. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. You may have come in here broke, but you're going out whole. Hallelujah. You're coming out. Hallelujah. We're leaving here prosperous in the spirit and in our finances. It is God's pleasure that we prosper in our health, in our bodies, and in our finances. Come on and give God a praise right there. I need you to believe it. I need you to believe it. I need you to speak it out of your mouth. I am rich in the spirit and in the natural. Amen. Bless his name. You may be seated. Wow. I just want to give honor to whom honor is due. Amen. To our bishop. Amen. General overseer, Joel Warboy, and our pastor, Delight, the visionary of this ministry. Amen. Of this women's conference. Amen. A rounded woman of God. Come on and give it up for her. Her beautiful staff. Everyone that's working hard, everyone that put your hands to the plow, God saw what you did, and God is going to reward you for what you did. Everyone in here is going to get a payday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone in here is going to receive an abundance of pain. I just received that. Y'all don't realize what Dr. Wright just threw out. It's like she threw it out to you. And God said, you just have to receive it. See, God don't want us in a begging. Ah, we're not beggars. Ah, come on, everybody. Look at somebody and said, I'm not a beggar. I'm not a beggar. I'm a child of God. And my father is rich. Hallelujah. And he wants me to have his riches. I've got an inheritance in here. Oh, do you know who you are? Hallelujah. You're sitting in heavenly places. What's wrong with you? Can I talk? We're sitting in divine places. And wherever I sit, hallelujah, I have a position of royalty. All right, y'all sit down. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yo, excuse me, I can just run all over this place because this place is full of fire and it's full of glory and it's full of the presence. And where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. How many of you free in here today? Are there any free women? Hallelujah. Even, listen, listen. I heard the Spirit said, even in my struggle, I'm free. Did you just hear what the Holy Ghost said? I declare it. Even in your struggle, you free. We're like the Hakobasha. We're like the three Hebrew boys. We may be in the fire, but we walking around it. We walking around it, and we're not going to be burned by it, and we're not going to be affected by it. Oh, come on and give him a prize. Fire, 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 hallelujah. Walk through the fire, walk through the struggles. Yes, I feel the Holy Ghost. You know, I know I, I walk with the Holy Ghost. 
Hallelujah. He said, even in your struggles, you free. You free. You're whole. You're important. Hallelujah. I don't care who you are in here. I'm going to my notes. But we're leaving here whole in our mind. You tell your mind you whole. We will be whole. We will be whole. Body, soul, spirit, whole. Somebody said whole. Point to your sister and be whole. Speak to your sister and tell her you be whole. Speak to somebody next to you and say, I command that you be whole. Listen, it is not God's, it's not God's plan that some of us be whole and the others be broken. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. So you've got to look at each other and say, be whole, sister. I command that you be whole. I command your mind be whole. I command your body be whole. I command your emotions be whole. I command your job. I command your family to be whole. I command your situation to be whole. I command it by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are sitting in heavenly places. Speak from the heavenly places. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to get to the I'm trying to get to the gifts, but one of the greatest gifts you have is your voice. Learn to use your voice. In the right way, hallelujah. I don't care if the devil say no, I say yes. Because my God says yes. And I say what my God says. I am the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. I am above and not below. Hallelujah. I am the lender and not the borrower. Say it with your words. I hear the Holy Ghost speaking over this. I release it right now by the power and the apostolic anointing. Speak it over your life. Speak it over your life. Use your voice. Use your voice. You will not go crazy, but you will be sane. Hallelujah. You will not go mad, but you will be whole. We've got too much power in this place. There's too much authority in this place. Hallelujah. Stop on that hevel. Stop on the devil's head. Hallelujah. Stop on the head of the... Woo! I dare you to scream it out. Sometimes you just need a good scream. Every now and then you just need a... A good holler. Just a good holler. You know what I heard? Go ahead, baby. You know what I heard? It may sound a little crazy, but Pastor, they going to mess up right now. You know what I just said? You need a good holler. You know when you're really making love? <laughs> That's what I heard the Lord say to me. He said, you know, when you're really making love, it has got to that point of, of the real love, the real ecstasy. You can't stay quiet no more. But, but, but you, you got to give a good holler. I dare you to give a good holler. If it's really good, if it's good, 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 good. Good Lord. Woo, this is good. <laughs> Lord, are we 
videotaping that. <laughs> See, when God's been real good to you, you got to scream. You just got to scream. You can't be quiet. Not when he's been good to you. If he did anything for you, this is not the season to be quiet. You need to just holler. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they don't like you. I don't care if they're trying to keep you quiet. You just got to look at them and say, God been good to me. I just got to give a holler. He's blessed me, holler. He's prospered me, holler. He made me whole in this conference, holler. He gave me back my joy, holler. He gave me back my peace, holler. Yeesh. This is the new oil. This is what I call new oil. Because you look good and you smell good. And you're about to ride, baby. Ride, y'all. Drive yourself. Go someplace. Make a move. Go in a new direction. Change your course. But use your oil with dignity. There's no need of having new oil if you're not ready to use it. And I suggest you dress up and go someplace and strut your new oil. Strut yourself. Put your, put your head up high. Stop hanging your head down low and say, honey, I'm going someplace. I don't care where I've been and what I did and who I did it with. This is a new season. You're back in your position. You're back in your seat. Come on, I cut now. The woman of God spoke last night about being seated in heavenly places. The scripture says that when he ascended, come on, listen to me, everybody. Scripture said that when he ascended up, he placed us up there with him. So when he went up, we went up. And even when we were in sin and transgresses, the scripture said when he went up, he brought us all up with him. And he seated us in heavenly places over all principalities. So whatever been over your head, you get back in position and tell that devil, I'm over you. I'm over you. I'm over you. You're over it. You have power over everything that's coming in your way because you're sitting in heavenly places. See? Oh, Holy Ghost. Can we... Y'all don't mind Pastor Day being Pastor Day. It's cool, baby. It's cool. I went home last night and I kept pondering over the message. And God said to let them know, as long as you stay in your position, the enemy can't mess with you. Because your position is your authority. And when he comes after you, if you're sitting in your seat, he's got to leave you because I'm in the right position. So God says, I just need y'all to take your position because your position gives you power. All y'all don't hear me. It's the position that it ain't you. Hallelujah. You can't work this thing. You just got to sit down. Hallelujah. And let him work it. You got a position. Y'all fighting over position. You in heavenly places. 
do you know who you are? You are talking about you sit next to the sun. Hallelujah. And when something's coming after you, the sun said, I got this. I got this. Ay, 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 ay. Don't y'all know that the Holy Spirit just wants you to take your place in the kingdom and let him say, I got this. Oh, but they're coming after me. Don't worry. I got this. But they're come, they're talking about me. I hear the Holy Spirit. I got this. In this season, God wants you to understand, I got this. I got this. You don't have to do nothing. Just sit in your that's right throw it at my feet you want to throw some money money throw it at my feet <laughs> oh holy ghost this is good y'all sit down for about 10 15 minutes and we just going we're going to just tear this place up today. We're going to move these chairs, and we're just going to act crazy. And we're going to celebrate in this place. Because whatever we came in here with, we have dropped it. Drop it like it's hot. See, the Lord told me, Pastor Day, I mean, Pastor Delight, to, to bring it together, to bring everything together. Because the Lord's been talking. He's been talking. And I'm listening. And number one, Apostle says he wants to unstuck you. He's trying to get you unstuck. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm unstuck. Whatever I was stuck on, <laughs> yay, 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 yay. whatever had me stuck, when I came to Guyana, I done been unstuck. Oh, come on, talk to me. And sometimes you need somebody to help you get unstuck. Because the grip is so strong that you need somebody to pull on you to get you off of it. Am I talking correctly? And this weekend has been a weekend of pull. I listened to last night when she was talking about the seat. And I said, ooh, shucks. I'm going to preach that one. But I love it because the Lord began to say, this. Number one, we all in this house have a gift. And I need you to stop belittling who you are. Every child of God, every child, y'all aren't talking to me. As soon as you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, he's so good to us, he gave you a gift. He just automatically gave it to you. And the thing about the gift, and I love it when our Dr. Wright was talking because I heard the Lord said, you got to be a good steward of money and you got to be a good steward of your gift. Because how you handle your gift will t determine how it grows. And how you handle your gift will determine if you get another gift. Ooh, shucks, somebody say. Because if he can't trust you with the first gift, and you don't appreciate the first gift, you know how sometimes children are, you give them something, they say, mm, that's all. You gave her more. And God said, that's your problem. You comparing your gift with somebody else's gift and didn't realize your gift suits you well. Woo, shucks, hallelujah. What God is saying, I 
I gave you your gift because I knew that you can handle your gift better than she could handle your gift. Oh, yeah. Y'all ain't talking to me. Holly. Because the scripture said, I've given you enough grace for you to carry what I gave you. Uh, but because you're trying to carry somebody else's gift, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't even know how beautiful and qualified you are. And ladies, I came to tell you, your gift looks good on you if you just learn how to walk in your gift. Yes! You don't even realize, to God, you look good. And as soon as you got saved, he said, oh, she deserves this one. I ain't did nothing, Lord. He said, you ain't have to do nothing. I want to give you a gift. Do you understand what that is? You didn't qualify. You didn't ask for it. You didn't beg for it. He just gave it to you. So the topic is about harnessing the gift, meaning how to handle it. How to handle it is the stewardship. Am I right? When God gives us something, he wants you to learn how to handle it. But the worst thing among us women is we compete. for you to function in the natural and succeed. But when you're born again, y'all ain't hearing me. See, I, see, you don't even know how valuable you are. Somebody that's just been born in the natural, they get a talent. And that's from God. They can sing, they can play music, they, you know, they can sew, whatever they've learned. They can do that. That's a, just a talent, y'all. But when you're born again, he give you extra stuff. So that means we got more than the world has because we came over this side. So when he just gave them a talent, he gave us a gift too. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Hallelujah. He gave you something. He said, wow, look at my child. I'm going to give them something extra. The problem is that when Paul had to address the church of Corinth, he said, y'all got it, but you're competing with it. (laughs) 
There's contention in the house. There's a feud in the house because everybody trying to outgift each other. Everybody trying to outpreach each other. Everybody trying to outprophesy each other. Everybody trying to outteach each other. Stop that foolishness and and let's build the kingdom. The gift is given for the kingdom. It's not for you, but it's for the kingdom. Dr. Rice said, we're just stewards of his money. And we're just stewards of his gift. And the gift is given to build the kingdom. Not yourself. Not your reputation. Not your portfolio. Ah, oh, the devil is a liar. We're going to kill that thing right now. Hallelujah. That's not why you have the gift. Your gift is for the kingdom. Whatever he gives you, you give it right back to him. There's power. See, the gifts of God, Molly, is for the kingdom. He says, so once you came into the kingdom, I'm going to give you a gift from the kingdom, but the gift is for the kingdom. Ah, I get what I just said. He gives you a gift that's from the kingdom, for the kingdom. So that means when you do is you bring it back to the kingdom, not for yourselves. I know, Boshai, you don't use your gift that you go out and start getting business cards. We're talking about you got to harness it, meaning you got to bring it in. You got to, you know, they, they use the harness for the horses to, to bring them, stir them in the right direction. You, you need to learn how to stir your gift in the right direction. That means you don't let people talk you into doing things with your gift that is out of the will of God, nor do you wander from church to church with your gift uh, and not give your gift to the house oh the devil is a liar because the gift has to be operating first at home before it can operate abroad hallelujah y'all ain't talking to me but i'm gonna kill it anyhow that uh, that nasty spirit i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill it you bring it back to the house use it in the house for the objective of the house and for the kingdom and every gift needs to be up under tutorship every gift needs someone to train them how to operate in the gift can I talk to y'all just because you see somebody prophesy, that don't mean you go. The Lord said, no, he didn't. You said it. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. You want your gift to grow? Bring it up under subjection and let it be accountable to somebody that somebody can actually sit you down and say, you were out of time, you were too tired. Y'all ain't talking. You talked before time and actually that was you and not God. See, we, we've taken... The gifts of God, and we've abused it. Edaboshata, can I talk? See, believe it or not, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to intertwine something. You know Delilah. Y'all know Delilah, that Delilah spirit. Delilah was cunning. She was manipulative. She was controlling. She, she was hungry for money she didn't want a position she just wanted to pe- pe- bring people out of position wow. 
Y'all ain't hear that. She wasn't after his position like Jezebel. Jezebel is after position. Delilah just want to bring you out of position. Ah. Uh. But I realized something very powerful about Delilah. Delilah was gifted. And if she just had used her gift in the right direction. Uh, hallelujah, y'all are talking to me. And if some of y'all would just come out of that Delilah spirit and, start, and stop trying to manipulate your way into the ministry and let the Lord direct you into the ministry. If you stop trying to bring somebody down in the ministry and let the Lord use you in the ministry, you would grow so great, y'all are talking to me. They buy, I'm talking. See, when I came up, you had to be accountable to somebody. And they would reprimand you and check you and discipline you right in front of everybody else. Hallelujah. But it allowed my gift to grow and become strong. Ooh, Jesus. To harness your gift Listen, everyone, everybody in here has a gift. Some of y'all just have the gift of gab. Woo, child, y'all can talk. Do you know even the, the structure of your body is a gift? Some of y'all are just fine, just fine. You know, you got curves, and you're not like me. That just go bloop. <laughs> Ain't nothing. I, I, no, nothing. I'm just as flat as nothing. <laughs> but some of y'all, I'm talking good, y'all. Some of y'all just gifted. You gifted with a shapely body. But if you just used a shapely body the right way, we would bring them in instead of them sending them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you could just twist it in and they'll come after you, Oh, y'all didn't hear me. And then bring them to the altar and leave them there. But what some of you are doing, you using your gift for the opposite reason. You bring them down and then you send them out. Somebody say yes, sir. Somebody said that's who I used to be. Because you came in here for some new oil so you can lubricate and stop that mess. I'm talking good. Yeah, the Lord said, leave those notes alone. Y'all don't need notes. Y'all need power. Can I talk? You know what I, I was reading and I discussed it in, in FML in, in New York when we did the Delilah thing. Very powerful. Delilah, listen to this. Very, this is profound. Delilah was a woman who lived in a place called Surat. S-O-R-E-K, Surat. And Surat was on the border. It was between two places. She was a woman with great possibility, but she was living between two places. She was close to Judah, 
but she was close to Philistine. She was too close to the wrong thing, but close enough to the right thing. And she had to make a decision. And that's where a lot of you are right now. You need to make a decision. You can't keep living between two places. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking in here. Hallelujah. You can't keep living close to them and close to him. God said in this season, you got to make a decision. Either you're going to come in or you're going to go out. But in this time, I can't have you living between two places. And when you live that close to the other place, ah, Philistine, the enemy, when you keep functioning and playing and teasing, teasing and entertaining and watching, oh, I'm going there, and, and entertaining that other stuff, is going to pull you in the wrong direction and take your gift there too. And God said, in this season, I need you to bring your gift back to where you got it from in the first place and use it for what I gave you it for in the first place. Either you're going to pray, hallelujah, you're going to sing, you're going to intercede, but use it the right way. Don't use it to pray against each other. Oh, I'm talking hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got an intercessory gift, but you use it for the enemy to bring down one another. You have a gift of administration, but you get into the office and you destroy the office. You got the gift, but you're using it for the wrong reason. You got the gift of hospitality. Ooh, child, you know how to welcome people. And you welcome them right out the door. And then some of you end up welcoming them in your houses. We used to have a... It's deep. It's deep, y'all. Deep. Let me go deeper. I see 50% of the gifts that God has given to the church used outside the church and not for God. Oh, that's good. She just said, and a lot of them use their gift against the church and pull the church out of the church to create their own church. They create their own church, but yet their church has got the Jezebel spirit, which is full of witchcraft. False teaching, false idolatry. So yeah, you took, you made another church, but that church ain't the real church. That's the false church. That's the Jezebel church. Book of Revelation says, in the last days, there is a church that's going to have a spirit that's a Jezebel, that's a prophetess. I am very concerned because we got a lot of prophetess out there, but they're Jezebel spirit. And they're about bringing down the good people. Oh, y'all are talking to me. Hallelujah. They're about destroying relationships, destroying marriages, destroying ministries. Oh, Lord. Yes, they're prophesying but for the wrong reason. See, what God says to tell y'all is you're caught up in the gifts, but the gifts are no good without the fruit. 
See, the gift was given, but the fruits had to be produced. It, Paul began to talk to the church. He said, y'all have all these gifts. Church full of gifts. He said, but y'all got no love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Hallelujah. You got no love. Hallelujah. You wonder why people don't stay? Because we ain't showing no no love. They don't need a church full of, oh, y'all not my child. Help me in this place. They don't need, look, I know prophet can prophesy, but their people need more than the prophet to prophesy. They need the people to have love. Because in order for them to come back, you got to have love. In order for them to stay, you got to have love. Love covers a multitude You want them to be healed? Show love. Love will do it, baby. Love will do it. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Ah, oh, yeah. He says, we can do all of these great things. With your gift. See, your gift was given to you. The gift is not without repentance. So the gift will keep operating even when you messy. The gift will keep operating even when you sleeping with somebody else's husband. I, I, I'm sorry. The gift, don't, you can't prove your salvation according to your gift. That don't mean you consecrated. That don't mean you dedicated. That don't mean you consistent just because you got to give. You got to give because God loves you. The gift is there. Hallelujah. But the fruit, tell me who you really are. You shall know them by their fruit, not their gift. Can I say it again? You're judging wrong. You shall know them by their fruit, not the gift. Oh, somebody said preach, Pastor Dan. The gifts are a phenomenal amount of gifts. Not just healing. Not just miracles, not just prophecy. Can I talk? <laughs> Administration, humbleness, hospitality, the spirit of helps. If you are a helper, you don't need to be recognized. You don't have to pat me on the back. You don't have to keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you. It's my gift. Woo! Are there any gifted ladies in the house? Oh, y'all ain't say that loud enough. Are there any gifts in the house? Are there any pure gifts in the house? Are there any sanctified gifts in the house? Are there any humble gifts in the house? Are there any peaceful gifts in the house? Are there any loving gifts in the house? Is there any kindness gift? Oh, Holy Ghost. See, what happens is we get out of our seat thinking that we got to go after it. When if you sit down, woo, see, ladies, somebody say, ladies, you want a good man? Take a seat. Can I say it again? You want a good man? Take a seat. Stop getting out of your seat trying to find him and let him come where you are. Hallelujah. And if you're in heavenly places, nothing and anything can't touch you. Ah, come on, ladies. Get it in. Somebody said you 
wanted to come. Take a seat. Take a seat. In this season, I ain't going after it. It's going to have to come after me. It's going to have to come where I am in the heavenly places. It's a powerful word that's being released in this house. Every, listen, every gift needs someone to check it. You got to check it. Check yourself. Check yourself when you, when you get beside yourself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because if, and let me tell you something. When you gift it, you can get beside yourself. After a while, I just think who I am. Who you talking to? You talking to me? Do you know I'm a woman of God? Do you know I have power? I can check you if I want to check you. And I got to have, and then I got to talk to myself. Be cool, day. Humble yourself. All right, cut it out. You ain't in the street no more. Take it easy. Let the Lord fight your battle. <laughs> Can I say that? Let the Lord fight your battle. Hallelujah. Because if I fight your battle, it's going to be a mess. Listen. <laughs> well, I'm glad for you, baby. Sit down. All right. Listen, everyone in this house, and that's what the Lord wants me to release, and I'm going to give it up, and we're going to just, we're going to move, but you got it. I need you to know you've got it. You've got something very valuable in you. You've got to accept what he gave you and stop trying to get what he gave me. God is not producing carbon copies. He's not cloning us. He don't want you to be like nobody else. He don't want you to look like everybody else. He don't want you to dress like everybody else. And to be honest, we can't even listen to everything everybody else is listening to. We can't go every place that everybody else is going. Y'all ain't talking to me. You can't wear every new outfit that everybody else is wearing. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, you can't read every book that's out there. Hallelujah. I don't, the, the demonology, the, you better leave it alone and just stay with Christology. I kept pondering that one part of the scripture that told me where Delilah lived. And she said, Delilah was gifted. But look what she did with her gift. She kept standing in a place in between. She was too close to the bad stuff and not close enough to the good stuff. And in harnessing your gift, you got to learn to stay away from them. That's all I can say. They're no good. They don't mean you no good. They're not your friend. They're not your homie. They don't like you. They just tolerate you but they're trying to bring you down because they know what you're carrying is so precious and they're so jealous of what you have. They're trying to get everything you have and then you got the nerve to share stuff that you have. God said in this season, I need you to be careful. 
Choose wisely. You have to be a good steward of your surroundings. I don't let everybody in my car. <laughs> Somebody said, Pastor Day, you that spiritual? No, I'm, I'm guarding my anointing. I'm guarding my gift. And I'm not having everything get in my car. Come on, I'm talking to you. I'll recommend you to somebody else. And make sure you get where you're going. But you ain't bringing that stuff in my car. Everyone don't deserve to go to your house. Oh, can I talk? And stop getting on Instagram and Facebook and Zoom and letting them see what's going on in your house and who's in your house and how much you have in your house. Just put that Zoom on a little space. They don't need to see nothing else. Ah, too much information. God, your gift. God, your life. God, your anointing. Somebody say, God. I'm not saying that you're going to be contrary. I'm going to guard it in love. I'm going to love you from a distance. Come on, talk to me. I'm going to say, Ooh, hold, ah, love you, baby, from a distance. Because you have to guard, guard what God gave to you. Everyone stand up on your feet. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you're born again, God loves us so much, he gives us a gift. You didn't ask for it. You didn't pray for it. You didn't fast, get consecrated, all that stuff. Uh, he just gave it to you. As soon as you got born again, he said, okay, here, this is for grace. He said, okay, this, this is for her. her. Your name was on it. But he wants us to open the gift and appreciate the gift. And even with certain gifts, you need instruction. You ever received a gift, but you didn't know how to work it? You know, have you ever received anything? You know, somebody gave me a brand new uh, tablet. I like my old one, but they gave me a new one. They upgraded me, but I don't know how to work it. That's why y'all ain't gave me no instruction. They said the instruction. I said, no, I need, I need personal. I'm talking, I'm talking good right there. See, I, it's not that I can't read it, but it ain't making no sense to me. I'm just not that literate, and I don't know the what goes when, the how. The, oh, so I need somebody who knows how to work it, that has already been working it, and already functioning in it, to guide me. Oko bashata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yes, yes. And we need divine helpers. I like that. For your gift. So that it don't just stay dormant, but that it increases. And that it becomes more productive. So that when you start using it properly, God can say, oh, she's good. She's doing well with that. Father and son said, should we give her another one? I'm talking to somebody right there. Somebody's about to get another one. I, I don't know who I'm talking to. Uh, maybe I'm talking to you. But I know, I'm, I, I know I'm over here for some reason. Somebody over in this section's about to get another one. I, 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 I need you to receive it, honey. Some, he about to drop another one. He said, you did so good with the last one. Hallelujah. You've been so productive with the last one. I'm about to drop a new one on you. Somebody said, I receive. So, 
I'm still using the old one while I learn the new one. But it requires somebody to walk me through it. And every gift needs someone to walk you through it. Come on, give God. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, everybody. Come on. Celebrate your gift. Look at your sister and say, hey, enjoy your gift. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. But use it. I expect everyone that's in this house to be activated in this house. I've learned from the Lord that if he bring you to the house, it's because he wants you to do something in the house. Come on, come on, come on, give God a praise right there. Come on, celebrate, celebrate the Lord. He is a good God. Yes, he is. He's a phenomenal God. He's a loving God. He's a high double shot. He's a good, good father. That's who you are. And we're loved by him. It's wonderful to have the gift. But don't just stay with the gift. Go after the fruits. Because the fruit will make your gift. It will make room for your gift. Yes, you're gifted, but your attitude is wrong. That's why they used her instead of you. Am I right, Pastor Lai? I'm going to put it in your hand. That's why they used her. Ah, ah, instead of you. Because your attitude, and yes, you're more gifted. But she's more available. You're more gifted, but we never know when you're going to come. Am I talking? The scripture does say it. Listen, your gift will make room for you, but your attitude will put you out of the room. All right, come on, give God a praise in this place. Somebody shout in this house. Come on, give it up for the Lord. Come on and celebrate your sister next to you. Come on, grab somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate somebody. Hallelujah. Celebrate the person next to you. Hallelujah. And say, we're going to grow together. We're going to do this together. We're going to sit together. We're going to love each other. Hallelujah. We're going to be kind to each other. Please forgive me. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, please forgive me. But we're going to do better. We're going to do better. We're going to do better. The enemy cannot keep messing with y'all if you stay in your seat. I just, that's all I keep hearing. He said, because you're in heavenly places and everything can't touch you when you're in heavenly places. All right, we put it in the hands of our pastor delight. Come on and give it up for our visionary. Come on and give it up for this great woman of God. Highly gifted, anointed, and appointed. Come on, somebody celebrate. Pastor delight. Somebody scream.